everyone welcome back to my channel i'm michaela if you're new here i have been having this feeling um i couldn't pinpoint what i was feeling like i was just i don't know i just started feeling content i think that's the word is contentment i feel just i feel calm i don't get anxious as often um i find happiness in small things i think my brain is like starting finally starting to acknowledge that this is how this is life right now you know we are in a pandemic you know we are people are fighting for their lives in this black lives matter movement and it took me a while to get there but i'm finally in that point of contentment so if you're kind of feeling anxious and just trying to process everything that's going on right now and you just want to get to that point of thing of contentment so like here are like three tips on how you can accept life as it is Okay, so for my first tip is to acknowledge your reality and just be honest with yourself. I don't know, I just started being like, you know what, this is, this is how life is right now. We are in a pandemic and I think a lot of people right now are forgetting that. They, they just want to put all that tension on a shelf and just be like, you know what, I want to have a fun summer. I want to live a hot girl summer and i just don't want to worry about it you know i'm just not gonna wear that by my mask and whatever 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 you are still in a pandemic people are still dying the numbers are going up very quickly because people aren't social distancing they are having parties and hanging out too much we are going to be in this pandemic for probably for the next two years like we still this is like this is how life is we can't we just can't be you know as comfortable with people because we're because we haven't because there's no vaccine and we still aren't safe and if people don't accept that then we then, then people are just going to keep dying and dying and we aren't going to get control of this pandemic and also with the black lives matter movement you know change is not going to happen if people don't accept that there are police officers killing people there are people just killing black people just because you know like if you don't accept that that's the reality right now and if we don't accept that, then change will never happen. There will never be change for George Floyd or Breonna Taylor. Like, those people are going to die in vain. Like, no, like, you need to be honest with yourself. Like, okay, like, like, do I have issues with race? Like, or like, you know, are there things that I've said or done that was wrong? And I started doing that. I started reflecting on, okay, like, are there behaviors that I can work on? And acknowledging that and being honest with yourself, it's gonna help you be more purposeful with your life. It's gonna help you be more wise with the next step you take in your life. You know, I'm now realizing that I need to be smarter with my career goals. I, I need to be more involved in politics and I just need to use my YouTube platform also to educate. And so it's helping me really take smart steps now and not take these really anxious i used to just always be anxious all the time and i used to just i used to do things so quickly and hasty because i was afraid and that's the next step is to letting go of those fears like you're not going to make smart moves in your life if you're always afraid it's just going to cripple you and it's going to honestly it's going to just like hinder your potential and it's, and it's and just keep you uninformed of course it's good to have healthy fear like I, obviously i'm afraid to get corona so i'm gonna wash my hands you know more often and i've also talked about my health issues in a couple of videos like i have crohn's disease with, which is a bowel disease and i used to be so afraid of losing control like i just wanted to eat what i want and not have this disease control what i could eat and what i could do and I finally like let go of those like thoughts. I finally let go of like, you know what? Like this is, like I have this disease and I can't control it. And I gotta stop trying to control it. And unfortunately I just can't have ice cream. I can't have spaghetti. Like I can't have certain things because it's gonna make me sick. Now I'm just having to modify what I eat. And that's just my reality and that's just my life. That's just how it's gonna be. Me acknowledging that and letting go of that fear. Like I am not in, pain anymore like I'm obviously I have of course some pain but like I'm not like I don't feel my body doesn't like hurt as much and I wish that I <laughs> I wish I would have acknowledged that so much earlier um but of course this is how you know it had to be God had a plan for it 
And I think a lot of you who also have health issues, you know, might have those feelings too and not wanting to lose control. But at the end of the day, you do. You just kind of have to just let it, let go of it. And obviously, and in the media, you know, a lot of people don't want to lose their control. They don't want to wear a mask because they're feeling like I have the right to not, you know, wear what I want. People just need to like let go of that because you're, you could save a life wearing a mask. Don't let your fear cripple you because despite everything, you still need to live your life the, you know, the safest you can and you still need to be happy. And if you do that, you're going to feel so con more content with yourself and you're going to accept yourself more if you just let go of what's holding you back. And lastly, is just letting go of what was. Let go of the past life you had. People are still resisting the coronavirus and people are still resisting the Black Lives Matter. People just want to stay on their comfort zone. They want to put everything on a shelf. But that's not how change is gonna happen. Your old life just wasn't working. It, it, it wasn't working. You know, we gotta just let go of it and we gotta start making a better life. I was wrestling with that for the past couple of months is I, of course, I, I miss, you know, seeing my nephew. I miss seeing my sisters. and But I'm like, you know what? Like, I want them to be alive in the next couple of years. And the vaccine is going to come out soon, hopefully. Things are going to be different. And we're going to, you know, be able to hang out with our friends again. But we're going to have to be uncomfortable. And, and so I'm just letting go, like, okay, like, I can't do those things. You know, I can't, I can't go traveling. I just can't do those things. This is life. I'm... I'm just going to live the best of my ability and I'm going to do my best to spread awareness about Black Lives Matter on my social media. I'm going to do my best to just, you know, help, help in the best way I can. And that's what I'm doing now with my YouTube videos is I'm trying to speak out about things that are going on. It's making me obviously feel really good that I'm playing my part in this world and it may look minor, but for some people it actually could make a huge difference and so if any of you are still feeling anxious and still resisting and still just trying to resist everything that's going on i advise you just stop doing that just acknowledge that this is how life is and just be like okay ask yourself what can i do how can i make a difference and it could be big or small and i hope this video helped a few of you that may be feeling those feelings and I hope that you get to the place where I'm at where I'm just content and I'm just happy with where I am honestly I thank God every day for everything that I have and every opportunity that I have because I'm just thankful that I'm alive and I'm thankful for my family so I hope on this Monday morning this video was helpful for you guys let me know what you think and I'll see you guys next time